can't see much. That there's a rollback. And this here's a broke Ford. Still broke. Saturday, 2 a.m. We're at Mountaineer Ford in West Virginia. Good bunch of folks here. We'll tell you more about that later. You ready to go home, girl? Yep. All right, let's load this truck up on the trailer. All right. On the trailer again. All right, it's 6 a.m. Saturday morning. The Ford's back in the driveway so we can buy a order up and buy a PCM for it, which is what quit. And special thanks to my buddy for towing us back from Beckley, West Virginia, where it broke down at. This doggone thing. Anyway, let's take a nap and go to a car show. You want to? Sure, but next time we tow anything, let's take a Chevy. Okay. It's looking like it could rain any time. But we're going to go to a little car show anyways. Anyways. See there? Mountaineer Automotive. Beckley, West Virginia. Those are good folks there. I'll tell you more about that later. It's dirty. But I don't have time to wash it. Haven't been driving all night. remember if you're thinking about buying a Ford you should stop Get your hair fixed? Yep. Okay. <laughs> We're back home. It's Sunday evening. I ain't been too proud of this thing right here. It laid down on us this weekend as we were making a trip in Beckley, West Virginia. It just died. The dash went haywire and the tuner on the dash quit working and it wouldn't turn over, wouldn't crank etc etc so we wound up sitting there on the side of the interstate a while and I called my cousin who's pretty up on these things and he told me some stuff to check and I did all that no go so we towed it to a towing place up there who treated us pretty well they let us stay in the lobby overnight and then uh, they had one of their mechanics work on it the next day and determined the PCM was shot and uh, I figured that was about right the way it was acting made sense to me of course nobody in town had the correct one 
but they had a used one with the incorrect number. Put that in, the truck fired up. I had no throttle pedal and uh, so on. So I rolled the dice, bought that one. I'm not going to tell you how much it was because I'm a little miffed about that, but <laughs> they treated us pretty good. They let us stay in the lobby and everybody was nice and all. And uh, they towed it to the Ford place there in Beckley, West Virginia. Mountaineer Ford. And we were going to try to flash the computer that was the wrong one with the right code to make the thing run. And they weren't able to do that. So about 5 o'clock, what was it? it was, I'm losing track of days. It was 5 o'clock. Friday evening. Yeah, we 5 o'clock. broke down Thursday about 10. Friday, Friday 5 o'clock. They said there was nothing they could do for it. And uh, since they didn't have a computer in town. So I called a buddy of mine and he uh, come and rescued me as he has done in the past. <laughs> it's got milky in one. This. Yeah, he's towed this truck three times. He told me I better sell it. Sell it. He's getting tired of toting it around. <laughs> but anyways. But he wasn't upset at all. He came. No, and got he's and he's bailed me out many a time. It's good to have a good buddy. That's right. It really is. And we do the same if the need ever arises. Yeah, we hope. <laughs> but anyway. <clears throat> Those people at the Mountaineer Ford, they treat us pretty good. Really good. Even though they weren't able to fix the thing. Even though it was a Ford company, thumbs up, Mountaineer Automotive. Yeah, they took pretty good care of us. And uh, they're good people there. But anyway, that's a lot of yapping to come to this conclusion. Now it's Sunday afternoon with the computer that was in it. Still a little trashy in here with the computer that was in it when it died. And if I can find the key, here's what it'll do. It'll run. And it runs well. So, what I did was, my cousin, he's pretty good at this stuff, he came over and messed with it, what, an hour and a half or so? Maybe an hour or less, he had it running. He did two things. First, he got it to start and run with the wrong computer, <laughs> which the Ford people could not do. And I could have drove it home that way. Um... I think all he did was clear some codes. There was 13 codes in the wrong computer. He cleared those and uh, got it to run. And then, once he did that, he started, while that computer was in there, he was looking for grounds and found a ground up here under the dash that was a little suspect. He cleaned that, put the original computer back in it. So that the dash stuff would function. Yeah, everything. It fired up and it, it's running good with the original computer. Now, if that computer could have a fluke of some kind in it or something, I don't know, but we drove it around a pretty good bit on yeah. some bumpy roads and whooped on it and stuff and and it didn't didn't give any trouble. So, I think the problem with the truck was a ground under the dash was bad. And it's a bummer that that wasn't found until I dragged it back home to my yes, place. Because we needed to make that trip. We need our trailer. We have projects. That's right. But anyway, <laughs> I'm still not mad at them. They did what they could and they treated us treated us very well. I won't say everything they did, but they treated us pretty good. So, so uh, I recommend Mountaineer motors or mountain automotive. automotive they gave me a t-shirt here you see here <laughs> i told the guy i'd wear it every day but they treat us pretty good i guess i'll be washing it while you're in the shower <laughs> i didn't say nothing about washing it oh well all right so that's how our weekend went we uh got to spend some time in beckley west virginia which there's pretty nice folks up there as 
little Mr. Heavy Chevy said, I like this land. There's some swell people around here. Yep. <laughs> yep. True. But anyway, my cousin's kind of got a gift for finding weird stuff, so. So he figured it out. Or at least I think he did. So uh, let's try it one more time, see if it'll still run. I'll be yapping here, turn the camera off, and it won't run. I think I'm going to get rid of this thing. Still runs. <laughs>